Okay, so just giving you guys a little preview of what is to come. It is a very smoky eye, kind of on the green, gray tone, and the lashes, and all that jazz. And I want to do something smoky because I felt like at the Golden Globes, smoky was like really on, especially Jennifer Lopez, if you saw her ultra smoky eye. So I said, why not? Let's smoke it up. So this is just a little MAC paint pot in soft ochre. I think it's the most ideal primer for the lid. Um, really, if you're anywhere from light to medium, it's a great color. This is the Silkissimi L'Oreal pencil, which I actually took a little risk on. I, you know, I usually am disappointed when I buy drugstore items, but this one, really really impressed me it's this beautiful kind of like creamy gel eyeliner and I think you could do something really graphic with it it doesn't really matter how perfect it is because I'm gonna blend it out anyway but it goes on like a dream so I highly recommend these as you can see I just blended it out so it's kind of like a base it's gonna be a base for the shadow and it gave me a really nice opaque base so I was very impressed with that this is the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette and I'm using the color peanut butter but I'm also mixing it with this color called nougat because I thought the peanut butter was a little too orange but I think those two colors together just provided the perfect way to offset the cool greeny gray tone and really buff out the crease. I find when you're doing a smoky eye, using something warm in the crease really helps to make everything just transition seamlessly. It makes it more wearable and I think it just looks more just easy on the eyes, no pun intended. It just, I think it's its a great way to make those smoky eyes really happen. I think it took me a little while to really kind of figure that out. But I'm going into this warm brown, this I believe is called Puddin'. I'm, I'm gonna double check on that. And I'm buffing that into the outer corner as well just to kind of blend everything together. Then I'm taking a little bit of that same green pencil and I'm smudging it underneath the lash line. I will be going back with some product, um, the same eyeshadows underneath as well. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking a black, a nice rich, rich black eyeliner and I'm tight lining inside and upper lash lines just to give my eyes a really nice dark inky black rim and then I'm going to go and smudge it out. It's all about smudging it out, putting it down, smudging it out and now you can see both eyes are done. All right, now we're on to foundation. I think I could have done the foundation first because I really noticed that this um, the eyeshadows really didn't fall down. I was very impressed. So I'm just buffing in. This is the Studio Fix NC20, so it's pretty yellow, but I really like using a yellowy kind of color, especially in the winter when I'm all like pink and pale and pasty. So I'm mixing it with the Studio Moisture Cream because I am a little dry, and this foundation is really good for people that are a little more oily, but I do like the coverage that it gives. So I mixed a little bit of the cream with the foundation. Then I'm going in with Benefit Erase Paste. This is number one and it's more of like a peachy tone so it works really well under the eyes and I find when I kind of use it with the Studio Fix it works just perfectly like the pinks and the yellows kind of all balance out and they give you the colors where you need them and where you don't you put the other colors so you kind of are all balanced the way nature intended. So I'm buffing everything in with the Sigma F80 which is the same brush I did with the foundation and this just kind of blends everything together. Then I go in with a clean brush and I like this one because it's got like a little point and I just get those little nooks and crannies and I kind of buff away any excess product so it looks more like skin and not too much product uh, built up on the skin. This is just a little bit of clear setting powder. This is the MAC Prep and Prime. Uh, this is the, the, the powder, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the Prep and Prime line and it's the one that's pressed without any color. And this just makes everything kind of look smooth and sets it and keeps it wearing nice and long all day. Going in with a little Chanel bronzer, just buffing it all around the cheekbones, top of the forehead, anywhere where I'd want to be a little bit bronzed, like a little bit of contouring, but I usually don't do a lot of contouring. It's not totally my style, and also, as I get older, my face is kind of skinny enough, so I don't really want to carve out anymore, you know, it just makes me look older. So I'm going in with Lancome Nectarish Blush, and I'm just hitting the apples of the cheeks. I like this blush with that bronzer in particular because because it's just a little more tawny and it just blends nicely. Okay, so I'm going in with this moss green color which is a very similar color to the eyeliner that I put down. I'm folding the tissue just so that I don't spill 
the powder all over my cheekbone and under my eyes. These, um, it's the Lorac Pro Palette, and I love the Lorac uh, eyeshadows, I really do, but sometimes they do get a little dusty, like they will fall down a little bit. So that's the only thing you kind of need to be careful of. This is my Mary Luminizer. It's a great highlighter. I put it down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, um, inner corners of the eyes, brow bone a little bit. It's like shimmery, but not too shimmery. It's just a great, great highlight color. And last but not least, just getting some brows on. Nothing special. I kind of just fast forward through these, but I'm doing brows with the pencil and then I use a little brow powder. So now I'm doing just a little bit of mascara to start because as you can see, I threw some lashes on off camera. My camera was like starting and stopping, so kind of gave up at one point. So have the lashes on, put a little gel liner down to hide the band. And then what I did is I went in with MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil and Cream In Your Coffee Lipstick, which is what I have on now. I'm loving this color. It also feels really nice on the lips. And then just a little tap tap under the lashes just to bring the false lashes and the natural lashes just a little more together to lift them so that they look a little more natural and finished. And that is pretty much it. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you like the smoky eye? Are you more into the natural? Let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.